Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you how to create a document set. So what is a document set? A document set is a type of a special uh, document library. It's actually a content type where you can manage uh, projects in special folders and you can give to the folders uh, metadata and uh, this metadata will be related also to the folders or also to the documents within this folder. So let's see how we how it looks and let's set it up. So uh, I'm on a team site uh, which is called uh, document set demo. I'll go to the gear icon. First of all, we need to activate it. So I will choose site content and in site content, I will go to site settings and I will look for site collection features. Then I will search for document set because we need to activate the feature. By default, it's deactivated. I found it, so let's click activate. Uh, if we don't do this, uh, then we cannot go to the next step. So now that we have created it, then actually we will go the SharePoint page and actually what we want to do is to click on the gear icon and we want to go to site content and we want to go to site settings and we need to go under web design uh, gallery to site content types. A document uh, set is a content type just like um, a document library is a content type. So now we're in a content type gallery, which is the modding view. Uh, what we can do here is to do it uh, through the modern way. I don't know, for some reason it doesn't work, so I'll show you how it is in modern, but the classic one will work uh, best. So if we want to switch to classic, this is how we will see it. Uh, I'll just go back uh, one step. Let's go back, here we are. So here I can click a content type. Uh, I can give it a name, let's call it projects. And I can put a description and actually I can choose the content type. So I could use an existing one or create a new one. Here you see I can choose document set content type. Also here I could uh, choose for the document type uh, content type and I can actually press create. Here now we get to the point where we can add some uh, site columns. Uh, we can use existing ones or we can create totally new ones. By default you see we can create the title, title and name is here and description. Uh, so we can add some uh, uh, site columns. Uh, we can uh, add from existing. So let's look for, for instance, let's look for just a second. Due date. Here we have a due date. So we can use this and we could use also email and we can click save and it will add it here. Um, then we can go uh, to the advanced settings and we can see all kinds of things. We can go to the document set settings and here we can actually define which content types we want to add. And also actually uh, we can choose a default content. So what we can do here is actually to add some files which will be uh, by default created. So uh, let's just uh, go to the downloads and choose uh, a file. Let's do add. And um, what we can do in addition, the shared columns, we can mark those that will be relevant for everyone. And there's also a, a, a welcome page, which actually I think does not appear uh, in the modern view, but we can add it just for 
example. Um, if this doesn't work, we can actually do it the, the classical way. Uh, so once we're done, everything is set, actually we can now go to the library. So uh, let's go to the site itself. I'll click on home and we can set it actually, we can create a new document library. So I clicked on new and document and let's call it a uh, projects. And what I will do is now I will go to the gear icon and I will click library settings. Here I will click on more library settings. And what I need to do is first, I need to go to the advanced settings and I need to enable allow management of content types. I'll click OK and now I can go uh, under the content types and I will add from existing content types. I will choose uh, the content type which we created. Let's look for let's look for it. Here I think this is it. Document set. No, I think it was a project. So let's remove this and uh, let's click OK. OK, so actually we added the we added it. We have also the content type of the uh, documents, but we can actually maybe delete it. Um, let's go to the library and test if it works. So uh, if we click on new, we have here uh, this uh, document and we have now a project uh, type of document set. So if I click on that, it, it will actually uh, give me uh, a page where I can fill out uh, the name of the document set a folder and so let's call it uh, project A and this is a project demo and here we can uh, set the when is the due date let's say the 30th of December and let's put a mail this is uh, for instance my mail Let's save. So this is what we did actually now is that we uh, created a document set that actually uh, we gave some uh, metadata. We don't see it here, but if we click on add uh, columns and show and hide, we can add them here. So we had a due date and we had a, what was the next one? We had something different. Um, let's look for what was it there? Uh, well, an email. Yep, here we have apply. So now I see this information. Now, if you noticed within it, by the way, the folder has a, a special icon. It's not like a regular document library folder. Here we have the information. If we go inside, this is the default template that was we decided to add. It's a Excel. And for each uh, document set folder, it will create this uh, file. We could have added multiple ones. And you notice to this file, also this information of metadata is automatically uh, brought. So just for example, let's upload here multiple uh, documents. And what I'm expecting is actually that uh, automatically the metadata will be uploaded. So let's take these documents and I'm uploading. I don't need each one separately to, meta to update it. You see all of them have the same thing. And if I change, for instance, the uh, due date, it will change it for all of the files in, in that. So I will just double click and I will change it instead of the 
30th of December, let's uh, make it uh, 11th of uh, January. Let's, let's go back. 11th of January, it should update it here. Let's refresh. Yes, it, it has up updated uh, the information based on the, the folder. Um, okay, so, uh, and by the way, if, if you try to edit uh, one of the metadata on, on, a, on a file, uh, it, it will not let you because it, it always takes the, the information from the document set. So if I, instead of the 11th of uh, January, change this to the 4th of January, it, you see, it reverts it back. So it's, it doesn't let us to, to do it. Um, let's try to create another, um, a project document uh, set. So let's call this project B and the date, due date will be the 20th and email is, uh, let's say this one. And by the way, if we're missing some some uh, columns, we can add them to the content type and that will uh, add them. Uh, so you see currently we have uh, two document sets and uh, of course you can manage permissions on a document uh, library or, or set. You, you notice that you have version history and you can also capture a, a version which actually uh, saves uh, the situation how it was before. Um, <coughs> uh, of course, we can also do some views that say, uh, for instance, I can create a new view, give it a name, let's say uh, no uh, folders. I just give, gave a name and now I will actually edit it, the current view, and I can uh, what I can do is to say, let's uh, go to the folders and show folders without, show files, items without folders. What we see here is actually showing everything uh, without the folders, project A, project B. Uh, strangely enough, it's showing this. I didn't expect that. Uh, but uh, what we can do here, we can also see, uh, uh, we can filter by email, for instance, or by file. So this is my Hotmail and this is my uh, Gmail. So you noticed actually that um, it's just like we have in a document library, but we have uh, special things that we don't have. Uh, so to set it up, it's a bit, uh, you need uh, to have uh, the permission rights, uh, but uh, but once it's set, then, uh, then you're set to go. Uh, I just wanted to show you, uh, I showed you that the, the, the modern way of doing it, but if we switch back to the classical view, then, uh, what we would do is we will do create and we would give a name a uh, project two uh, and we would choose here document set and the rest is is just looks um, in a classical way uh, but more or less you see we have uh, we can add uh, columns we can uh, Go to the settings. Uh, what I noticed actually is that uh, the welcome page, there's no welcome page uh, in the modern uh, look and feel. So uh, it just looks like a, a document library and the entry of a new, uh, for instance, set, you see it, it shows uh, a classical uh, 
not a modern. So I hope uh, in future Microsoft will uh, set it up. I hope you learned something new. Uh, try it. Don't forget you need first to activate uh, the site feature. If not, you won't see it in the content type. Then you need to create the content type. Then you need to go to the library and uh, to advanced settings and to enable um, content type management. And, uh, and then you can actually add the content type and do all of the things. So if you like my channel, uh, subscribe. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.